In this video, we want to review how to multiply decimals. So we have the problem here, 2.37, 2 and 37 hundredths, times 4.8, or 4 and 8 tenths. Unlike adding and subtracting, we do not have to worry about lining up decimal points uh, for multiplication. We just first multiply the numbers as if we were multiplying 237 times 48. So we would write that down vertically, and then we just step through our multiplication. So what we do 8 times 7 is 56, carry the 5, and then we would do 8 times 3 is 24, 24 plus 5 would be 29, and we carry the 2, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 is 18, bring down the 1. And when we come to the next row, when we're multiplying by 4, we first bring down our place value of a 0, and then we multiply. And at this point, I'm going to cross out the 2 and the 5, so I don't accidentally use them again. 4 times 7 is 28, carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14, carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And then we just add everything up. 6 and 0 is 6. 8 and 9 is 17. So put down the 7, carry the 1. 1, 8 and 4 is 13, carry the 1. 1, 1 and 9 is 11. Now the final step that we have to do here as we're working with decimals when we're multiplying is we now need to go back and count up our decimal places. So as you look at what we have here, we have two decimal places in the first number, one decimal place in the second. So we put those together, it gives us three total decimal places, and so we count three places on our number, and then we insert our decimal point. And that's all there is to doing multiplying and dividing, or multiplying decimals. Let's consider a second example here. We have the decimal 7.14 times 0 0.35. Again, you do not need to line up decimal points when multiplying decimals. We just write it down as a regular old multiplication problem. And for the moment, forget that we have decimals in play. But in the end, we'll remember that we have 2 in the first one, 2 in the second, so our answer will have to have 4 of them. So then we multiply. 5 times 4 is 20. Bring down to 0, carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Nothing to carry over. 5 times 7 is 35. And so we've done the first row. Bring down the zeros. And I went ahead and crossed my 2 out. And now we multiply by 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4 and 3 times 7 is 21. And then we just add everything up. 0 and 0 is 0. 7 and 2 is 9. 5 and 4 is 9. 3 and 1 is 4. 2 and nothing is 2. And then because we had two places in the first one, two places in the second one, that gives us four total decimal places. Our answer should have four decimal places, so we mark it with four places. 2.4990. And when you write that answer down, you can leave off the zero on the end if you want.